Hey guys, it's Sean from Strangel Films here, and right now I'm with Doug, who's going to show us a little bit about this uh, gimbal stabilizer, the Ronin, um, and specifically some of the stuff it can do that the Movi stabilizer cannot do. So why don't you run us through the, the features? Sure. Actually, uh, as you can see, it does have the uh, regular stabilization in the normal mode with the pan bar. I can also hold it from the main center handle as well. Another cool feature about this is if I change orientation, slip it to the side, it'll reorient itself and I can still stabilize it in this mode as well. It's a lot easier to carry in this like bag setup, so it's held down low. You can get your low angle shots. Gives you a great vantage point for, let's say, a um, fancy car or something of the sort. You get that real low angle shot for that. Uh, if you go back into your normal mode, you can turn the whole rig towards yourself and that will actually be able to allow you to invert the whole rig. If you invert your camera on the system, you can also hold it like this, uh, put the camera in normal orientation as well. Um, and I honestly prefer this. It's a little bit easier to carry, a little bit easier on the back, and uh, you're able to flip it all around into these different modes. Everything will be Bluetooth adjustable uh, via your iPhone. Um, there will be an app available for it in the future. And it will also come with a transmitter where you can have an operator holding it and someone using the pan, tilt, and roll through a controller. Um, it is directly adaptable to the S1000 helicopter with a quick release on the pan bar. So you can be your handheld rig as well as an aerial rig. Um, another great thing about it is it has a universal rail mount. All you need to really do is balance your camera out on all three axes. You're able to mount even all the way up to a red Epic camera. So it does hold quite a bit of weight to it. Okay, so you can put a Red Epic on it, and that's great. What is the actual weight capacity like? Are we talking a Red Epic with a small lens on it, or a Red Epic with a, a more serious lens? Well, uh, the example I've seen so far has been with the Red Epic Dragon version, or the Red Dragon, if you will. Um, I believe that's about 12 pounds, and uh, we were able to show it with, if you tap on the lens, you can see it stays pretty firm there. With the Red Epic, it looks just the same. Like I said, all the gains are adjustable, so you can change the firmness of everything, the speed of your window and the pan as well. Everything is fully adjustable in the system, and again, it also is an aerial rig, so you can quickly adapt it to your helicopter, or if you want to just use it as a hand rig, it is quickly adaptable for jibs, any kind of mounts you have as well. So, And how long does the battery last on this rig? Uh, the battery is expected to last around four hours with it. Uh, the starting price point should be around the $5,000 mark, and it will be available within the next quarter. Fantastic. Thank you so much for showing no it to problem. us. It was great to meet you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you.